But I'll just pick up right here. We were halfway down the mountain when Ronnie turned the music down again and offered me a cigarette. I don't smoke. Color me surprised. I always took you for a smoker. I shrugged. Honestly, I had no desire to engage in any more conversation with Ronnie than was necessary. You know when I started smoking? I shook my head. I was eight. Daddy just got out on parole. I've been staying with my granddaddy. You remember old Billy, don't you? I didn't answer. He knew very well I remembered his grandfather. He'd been my father's best friend and most trusted advisor for most of his life. Anyway, Grandpa told Daddy he couldn't come inside the house until he promised to clean up his ways. I think he might have even... Oh, I forgot to mention, there is some language in there. <laughs> I think he might have even wanted him to confess his sins before the Lord or some such bullshit. Of course, the only thing my daddy and his daddy ever had in common was kind of laughed at the memory. Well, as you can imagine, that didn't sit too well with Grandpa, and he took the swing at Daddy right there on the porch, humbling him straight up beat down. Daddy was as stubborn as Grandpa, but not half as tough. Your grandfather was a vile man, I said.